Hi guys, good Monday morning to everyone. This is Paul from Paul Loves Noena and today I'm going to share with you this um, news article, this news feed that I came across from the Motley Fool. It's about the Great Resignation. It's funny because uh, you'll be saying, oh, Monday na Monday, I'll be talking about resignation. No, it's not like that. It's just something interesting that I, um, we came across this weekend. And I, uh, I think it's worth sharing with you guys because uh, you might find it interesting as well. Because, okay, let's dive in. What is the Great Resignation? They say that this Great Resignation is a buzzword that they say that this is the phenomenon that describes record numbers of people leaving jobs across COVID-19 pandemic ends. Now, this is a figure. This, uh, this is a stat that uh, is from the US and uh, they said that um, around 4.4 million employees quit their jobs during the pandemic uh, the pandemic ends this was reported around September uh, third quarter of this year and uh, they said that um, they they have this theory that uh, the reason why a lot of people resigned is that uh, it have been COVID related Infection, mostly about infection or uh, lack of child care uh, and um, they theorize that this is the short term this are the short term reasons why people are resigning but the interesting thing, thing about this is that um, from then they also recorded that uh, an additional of 2 million people were hired and then quit again uh, so adding adding to the number of six million so these they're saying that i mean uh, this is the great resignation and uh, are they thinking is this going to be a reason that it's going to stay or this is going to be a new norm because this is going to be the uh, this is going to send a rippling effect toward the whole economy so uh okay um new video okay uh, i think i'll share the video here all right uh, the the map for uh, the graph first. They're saying that this dip over here, this is the Great Resignation, where in a lot of people resign. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to the video. Oh. Yeah, we've all talked about the, we've, we've heard about the Great Resignation, right? People quitting their jobs, right? Um, recently, we got a report from the September numbers, which so it was 4.4 million people quit their job, which was a record. Um, so they've been keeping track of this. But today, um, I saw an article, um, I think it was on CNBC, uh, that talked about a report from Jonathan Miller, who's an economist at Barclays, uh, kind of questioning the motivation behind these resignations, right? He, he wonders if it's just short term. And noted in September, the hiring actually exceeded the number of people who quit. So we had 6.5 million people be hired which is the difference of like 2 million, right? So more, 2 more million more people started jobs and quit jobs. Um, he theorizes that these resignations are driven more by short-term concerns, COVID-related mostly. Uh, things like risk of infection or lack of childcare, because that's hard to get right now. Uh, and in other words, he doesn't know if the workers are really disgruntled, but that they're being driven out by, by short-term practical concerns. And so maybe that's just a short-term issue um, another piece of data shows that some of the people leaving labor force are married and living with their spouse. And so, like, you might quit your job, but the family unit still has income. And, and that can bridge the gap between when you get a new job, right? So if you're married and your spouse is working, then you have a lot more leeway. It's not like you're operating on savings. You just may be operating on a lower income while you look for a new job. So it maybe provides more motivation to just not wait and take the leap now. Um, but what do we think about this, guys? What are your thoughts on this? Um, thoughts on the labor force, people quitting? What do things look like next year? Do you think this is short term? Um, this trend, do you think it's going to normalize or we get to new equilibrium? Uh, what do you think about this? Uh, what do you think, Nick? Why don't you start us off with this? Yeah, I saw that report. Um, I definitely think there are some short term reasons why people are quitting and causing this great resignation. But I, I want to share um, a chart with some data collected by the U.S. Census Bureau, and it's actually been around for a while now, and I'm shocked it gets so little coverage. Um, this is the pace of 
of uh, new business applications in the U.S. This this chart, when I when I saw it last year, it was my chart of the year last year. It's going to be my chart of the year this year, and I think it's going to continue at least partway into 2022. This is incredible. Look at how many people have applied to start a business. You see this little dip right here. Um, the yellow is, is what the uh, census deems a high propensity application, like this is definitely going to be a business that sticks around for a while, versus the gray, they deem it a business that, you know, has a high likelihood of, of, of not making it. Either way, this chart is incredible. There are so many new businesses being started since the brief dip when the pandemic started, but very quickly, just a couple months after, after that, the monthly pace of new business applications is just incredible. And I think it just illustrates the fact that it's gotten so easy to work for yourself, um, either as a contractor, um, you know, where you can work more flexibly, you know, you might still work for a business, but, but on kind of your own terms, or just outright start your own business. And, and a lot of people uh, th this this chart is interesting because it's just a story in a microcosm. It helps explain, you know, some of the housing shortage because people are moving to less expensive areas of the country so that they can do things like work less and maybe work for themselves. It helps explain some of the inflation because businesses are having to pay more to try to attract talent. Um, All right, I'm going to stop the video over there. Uh, okay. Um, it's not that because it's Monday and I'm talking about resignation or everything or anything. Um, I'm just maybe I'm what I'm just trying to highlight is that maybe since this is since the this is something of a different light for because of the pandemic. Maybe this pandemic highlighted this um, aspect of our lives. Probably this is. The, Wherein a lot of people, they're saying that a lot of people from that from that period is that they're trying to start their own business. They're start, they're starting to become their own contractor or work for themselves because it started to get easy for them to work for themselves. Uh, it's more flexible, um, either as full time, part time, or contractor for uh, a different company. So yeah maybe this is the new norm so uh, it, it, it's uh, it's another side of the coin you can look at the pandemic as something bad you can look at this maybe it's doing something we we haven't realized because this is this phenomena has been going on they said it's around for two years now so um, <laughs> so I'm just sharing this with you guys uh, and probably you get more insights about this one. So, yeah, that's it. So, um, I know it's just, it's Monday and I'm talking about this one. So, uh, sorry if you got uh, a, a different idea or some uh, different message came across to you. But I'm just sharing this one. And I hope you guys... Uh, have a good Monday and a uh, blessed week ahead. And uh, we'll catch up with next week. You guys stay safe, all right? Okay. <laughs>